हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस साइड मीना सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज ओवरव्यू ऑफ डेवलपमेंट स्टेजेस एज वी नो दैट डेवलपमेंट प्रोसीड फ्रॉम वन स्टेज टू डिफरेंट स्टेजेस लाइक यू आर नाउ एट द स्टेज ऑफ एडोलोसेंस एंड आफ्टर सम ईयर यू विल एंटर इन द स्टेज ऑफ अडल्टुड एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द लेटर अडल्टुड सो आर लाइफ प्रोसीड्स फ्रॉम वन स्टेज टू अनदर दिस इज नोन एज अ डेवलपमेंट स्टेजिस वी मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट ईच स्टेज हैज इट्स ऑन करैक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड इट्स ऑन यूनिकनेस लाइक विच फीचर्स एंड विच करैक्टरिस्टिक्स यू आर हैविंग इन योर अडोलसेंस एज दैट विल ऑल्सो मॉडिफाई विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम वैन यू विल एंटर इन योर नैक्सट स्टेज एंड दैट स्टेज ऑल्सो हैव सम यूनिकनेस ऑल्सो at every stage individual learns some particular type of skills and patterns of behavior that help the person to live his life very successfully all these skills help the person in achieving the goals that he want to achieve that he has settled in his life these things are known as a developmental task now we will read about the different stages of development in detail and what are the features of each stage our first stage is prenatal stage prenatal stage start from the birth of the child it last for 40 weeks in this stage mm-hmm. include the two factors that play a important role in forming the child's development which include genetic role and the environmental factors role we we'll talk about genetic factors then it includes some maternal characteristics on the part of the child's development which include the mother's age nutrition taken by the mother and what is the emotional state at the time of pregnancy if the mother is taking some type of the tratagons tratagons are known as environmental agent that cause any type of abnormality in the child and this abnormality can leads to death also it includes any type of drugs or in or alcohol if the environment in which the mother is living that environment is not clean or it is full of pollutants then it also cause some type of abnormalities and it is also a source of danger to the unborn child after this when the child is delivered by the mother then the child entered in the infancy age in this our main concern is related to the cognitive part of the child in this we include functions like language how the child is perceiving the things and the intelligence for the birth of the newborn there are also development of some brain cells these cells are not fully developed but yes after the neural connections these cells are develop at a very rapid rate we cannot consider that newborns are very helpless as they are not able to think as they are not able to speak but yes the newborns are having some functions that they can do like they can breathe they can suck the things they can swallow and they can also release their body waste the newborns in their very first week they are able to understand the directions that from which direction the sound is coming like if we do some type of high noise if we create any type of disturbance in the room where the child is lying the child show reflex actions towards that sound and the child is also having the ability to distinguish between the mother's voice and the voice of the other woman the child also show the gestures when the now we will talk about the motor development in the newborns the newborns movement are always shown by reflexes that is automatical whatever is happening in the environment that we consider always stimuli they produce response to that in their early age child show some common reflexes that are present in the newborn coughing and blinking after that when their brain functions mature with the passage of time it includes some voluntary control over the behavior also they also have much control on their muscles and nervous system in this way they are able to develop their skills in a better way basic motor skills that grow with the passage of time in the child is grasping the thing and the reaching for the object as you may have seen that when the child is try to hold the things when the child is try to approach the toys and he try to crawling because of physical development in every child is universal but yes there can be exceptions also now let's talk about the sensory abilities of the child at infancy age as i already told you that child has the ability 
to differentiate between the mother's voice and the other person's voice. The newborns always respond to the stimuli that is present in the environment rather than to the faces. As you may have seen that if we call the child, then the child not easily look at our face. But if we produce any sound by the toys, then the child immediately look at that stimuli in the form of a toy. This also change after some time. Now we will talk about our another sense that is the vision. In the newborn in days, the vision is lower than the adult vision. But when the child near about 6 months, then it improves and almost the same that of an adult that is 20 by 20. If we talk about the child's vision in differentiating the colors, then we can say that child can differentiate between black and white. But if we talk about the colors to differentiate, then it is difficult for the child in the starting days. But when the child is at the time of three months of his age, the child, child is able to develop his color vision also. Now the another sense that is hearing, the child has the efficiency to improve the sound in himself or herself newborns always respond to touch and they also feel the pain they are also having the tasting and smell capacities that are present already in the newborn so in this topic the sensory abilities we have talked about the all senses of the child our next one is in relation to infancy the cognitive development in this, the main study is done by the Jean Piaget. He said that child is having the ability to understand his word. With the passage of time as the children grow, the children is able to understand the word in better way as their understanding skills improve and they are also having the adaptive qualities. Piaget said that child's mind passes through a series of stages in which we talk about the stages from infancy to the adolescence. Let's have a look on the table. The Piaget has talked about the four stages. First stage is known as the sensory motor stage. It lies between the age of 0 to 2 years, mean to say from the born year to the 2 years. In this, the child is able to coordinate between the different different sensory motor skills and child can express and child can express that sensory experiences with the physical actions like if the child is feeling heat then the child will start crying so it, all these things that what the child is experiencing in through the senses the child can express by physical actions our next stage is known as a pre-operational stage it lies from the year two to seven years in this symbolic thought develops symbolic thought means to say child has the ability that he can understand the symbols in this they have talked about the object permanence child is able to remember the things that what was earlier in his hand if we will hide that things when the child is engaged in another things the child still remember that what was in his hand earlier but if we talk about this thing in the sensory motor skill the child is not able to understand that what was in his hand earlier and we can hide that things very easily from the child like if one toy is there that could be very harmful to the child if we will give to the child and we are not with the with him then what we do we try to hide that things from the child but if the child is at the stage of pre-operational the child can easily understand that something is there that is hidden by my parents but if the child is in the sensory motor stage the child will forget easily i hope that you have seen these things in your family also if you are having a small children after that the stage is concrete operational it is the, this is a stage from 7 to 11 years in this child is able to differentiate between the object that what is the difference between the cow and what is the difference between the parrot that cow is in the category of animals and bird is in the, the parrot is in the category of a birds so in this the child is able to perform some mental operations that is present before the child next stage is the formal operational stage this is this is the highest level according to Piaget's developmental stage. This lies from 11 to 15 years. In this, the child apply the logics and the child is having the 
एबल टू टू थिंक अबस्ट्रैक्टली मीन टू से इफ वी विल से टू द चाइल्ड काओ वैदर द काओ इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द चाइल्ड बट स्टिल द चाइल्ड इज एबल टू क्रिएट दैट इमेज इन हिज माइंड इफ वी विल से टेबल द टेबल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द चाइल्ड बट येस द चाइल्ड इज स्टिल एबल टू इमेजिन दैट इमेज इन हिज माइंड सो हेयर द हाइपोथेटिकल थिंकिंग ऑल्सो डिवेल्प इवन थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ ऑफ एज the child develop the language the child start developing the language in the starting days the child start babbling babbling mean to say when the child is murmuring in a very rapid speed after this time the child vocalization starts improving there is a social emotional development like we know that the child is directly contact with his society in the form of his family and the parents in this the child prefer the familiar faces like the mother who is mostly around the child we will talk about here in the relation of emotional bond the child always show the emotions by smiles and by hugs and after that if the child is separated from the mother then child show the emotion of cry and show distress also in this all these things that involve the affection this close emotional bond of affection that develops between the infants and the parents is known as a attachment in this one study is done by harlow and harley experiment is done on baby monkeys they were separated immediately after the birth of approximately 8 hours then the baby monkeys were placed in experimental chamber and they were reared for 6 month by the surrogate mothers that is known as a substitute mothers one is made of a wire and other is made of a cloth they were also fed by these mothers after that the common thing that we come to know about that feeding is not matter to the child even they prefer comfortness over the feeding so the relation that make between the child and the mother is contact of comfort even we have seen that the young children some are having very strong attachment to their favorite toy or blanket even their particular color or with their particular pen it is not only because that they are having special type of relation it is only because that they feel comfortable in that there is another psychologist eric erickson he said that in the early years of the attachment when the relation is building between the child and the parents there is a one stage came that is known as a trust and mistrust if the child is feeling physical comfort and child feel secure and here the trust of the child will towards the parents if the parents are very sensitive affectionate and accepting the child in the way the child is behaving or in the way the child has the traits then the child explore in that environment and child has a trust feeling on the other hand if parents are very insensitive and they always compare the child with other child and have a nature of find faulting with the child then it gave a sense of insecurity so a close interactive relationship with warm and warm and affectionate adults is a child's first step towards healthy development so this is all about in this video in our next video we will talk about the next stage that is the childhood thank you